Okay, so the Halloween event part two is here. As you can see, they have added in the Pumpkin King boss arena, the Nocturn added to the Halloween event missions. So the Nocturn is the new creature, I believe, and then the Camador got a remodel, Pumpkin a Dash Race minigame, and Spooky Wookie event. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you go to events, as you can see, Pumpkin King's Wrath, and you get this creature. Okay, so here's the Nocturn. Um, we can't really see it, but let's check out these stats. So 5,900 health. 470 damage, 50 minutes to grow, 4,650 weight. It has corrosion attack, defensive disease. It blocks necro poisoning, it blocks 30% of lead, iron stomach, hunter's curse, life leech breath. All right, so here's the Nocturn. I honestly have no words for it. It just, I, I don't know what this creature is, but look at this thing, guys. I honestly, I, I, I have no words. I have nothing that I can, uh, compare it to I, I i don't know what this thing i don't know it looks like a looks like a <laughs> I, I have no idea honestly but we're gonna be going to the boss fight arena since if we go to the menu and go to, wait actually if we go to the mission we have to defeat the pumpkin king boss one time and i want to check it out so we're almost there and yeah i will meet you guys where i'm there oh look at this costume clash theme is zombie well I mean, I, I think this creature would work perfectly with that theme. I mean, it's ribcage are showing. It, it does, it, it's bony. It, it does resemble a um, zombie of some sort, I guess. So, um, I have no idea what we're gonna do, but let's go ahead and figure it out together. Um, what is this? Okay, so I went into the, uh, the portal and the pumpkin king boss spawns in eight minutes or nine minutes. Okay, I, I don't know if taking this creature is the best idea, but I'm just going to try it out. And we have our uh, boss mode enabled. So wait, we will be experimenting with the boss pumpkin stats until we find a sweet spot for all players. Honestly, I don't even know if this is soloable. Maybe you have to do it with people. But uh, yeah, all right. I guess we're just gonna wait for this. All right, here we go. We got seven seconds before the boss spawns. And again, I don't know if this is the right creature. Should we do this? But we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's spawning. Uh, where Where is the boss? Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Oh gosh, it is massive. You have 13 minutes to beat the boss. Wait, how, how, how do I beat it? Do I just bite it? Um, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Oh, oh no. Oh gosh, okay, there, there goes half my health. All right, uh, wait, what am I supposed to do? All right, this is this is definitely not the creature, guys. Oh no, <laughs> no, it has 16,000 health. Okay, there, there's no way I kill this thing. It's shooting fireballs at me and it's slamming me. Oh, do we just, do we just bite it? Oh, we do just bite it. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Um, yeah. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be slow creatures, guys, or you will die. All right, so while we wait for the boss, let's check out this new, uh, uh pumpkin dash minigame. So let's go ahead and do this. Start. Okay, um, what do we do? Do we just have to, like, like, fly around? Oh, okay, so you just go from pumpkin to pumpkin. All right. Seems, uh, easy enough. The time is pretty limited, but, uh, I hope that we, oh, gosh, that's a lot of pumpkins if, um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this in time. All right, there we go. I don't, I have no idea when we'll reach the end, but um, it, yeah, it, it's those like pumpkins that light up. Is, is this the last one? I think it is. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so yeah, that is the pumpkin dash mini game. And I've already completed three of the uh, activities and spin the carnivore gotcha two times. Okay, that is, uh, that is pretty easy if I go to go. Oh, wait, uh, menu. Shop, gotchas, corner gotcha, two. All right, there we go. And then grow two large creatures to adult. All right, that is pretty easy. Honestly, this creature is not that hard to get. All right, guys, the pumpkin king boss is here. And uh, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna be trying to kill it. And I've heard that a lot of people said to use the Valmora as Valmora's breath does a lot of damage. Oh, oh, what the heck? Oh gosh, I can't fly, guys. I, I I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to kill this thing. It, it, it does, uh, oh yeah, it's definitely. Oh, I do 400 damage per bite. Okay. Um, honestly, I'm not even dodging it. I'm just like flying around. Oh, tentacles! 
We gotta kill the in individual tentacles. Okay. Guys, I don't even know. This is so horrible. Those fireballs like hit me every time. Oh no. <gasps> no. Alright, uh oh gosh. This is uh this is this is this is rough. This is rough. But it is definitely soloable. But these fireballs, I I, I can't dodge the fireballs because I'm too slow. Alright guys, I honestly have no idea, but if you go to events, I was growing my UVS, and yes, the UVS did get a remodel, and it looks freaking amazing now. And if we go to events, as you can see, somehow while growing the UVS to adult, um, this mission got completed, I guess. So, I, I guess growing a UVS, which is not even a, uh, you know, a large creature to adult, um, I, I, I guess it, it works for the mission? I'm pretty sure it's a bug, guys, but that's pretty crazy. I don't know, it might be patched by the time you guys see this video, but, um, yeah. Well, um, don't mind me just growing another Uvius to, uh, complete this mission a little faster. Yeah, I'm gonna be using the Uvius for the boss battle anyways. Alright, and there we go. Grow two large creatures to adult. Yeah, guys, we definitely grew two large creatures. Okay, so for the Uvius, you know what I'm actually gonna do? Since the Uvius does have a breath, and I heard that breaths do a lot of damage, I'm gonna put on that. And that plushie basically makes it so that I do more damage with my breath. And what else should I on? I don't know if plushies actually do anything, but of course we want stamina generation in case, you know, um, we're going to need to fly, which we probably are going to need to fly. All right, here we go. We're going to be attempting to solo this once again. And I believe it is. Um, I honestly think it's really possible. All right, here comes the pumpkin king. This time we're doing it with the Uvius. All right, here we go. We're going to get closer and use our breath, and we do 67 damage. Alright, so I think we just got to fly around and bite it. Oh god, this is kind of hard. Oh gosh, the hitbox. Alright, uh, somehow we're successfully dodging its hits somehow, which is uh, amazing. Wait, this is actually good. If we just keep circling him, he, he can't hit us. Especially as the Uvius and I'm just gliding around. We aren't being hit as of now. I forgot, I can use my breath. Alright, but this is gonna take a while. Alright, we're just gonna keep on doing this. It's working somehow. <laughs> Alright, so once we get once we get it to like that bar up there, it's gonna spawn in those tentacles. Alright, we gotta go kill the tentacles now. Oh, the fireballs. Alright, the fireballs are here. Alright, so these things also attack too, so we don't want to be hit. And we have to dodge the fireballs at the same time. Oh gosh, this is where aerial PvP really comes in. Oh wait. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, these tentacles are kind of hard to hit. I am not going to lie, guys. Alright, guys. Oh. These aerial, like, you're going to need aerial PvP for these guys. Wow. Alright, one tentacle down. Okay, this is definitely soloable with the Uvius, at least. I don't know if, like, the bigger creature you have and stronger tiers the more damage you do, but I would hope so, that that's what happens. Alright. Now we just fly around it and bite. Ow! Ow! Okay. Okay, there we go. We got it at half health. What happens now? Oh, gosh. Oh, that's what happens. It, it, it shoots down fireballs from the skies. Okay, so we can still hit it once we get it at half health. Wait, it's regenerating. I just realized. Oh, it just did like an AOE attack. Oh, gosh. It shredded my wings. I can't fly. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. It's doing its AOE attack. Fly out. All right. There we go. Okay. Now we go back in. Okay. I just got out of it. That's why you're going to need a fast creature for this. Oh, wow. We actually did it. I love the Uvis. The Uvis is so good. There we go. One more bite. There we go. We got the Owl Plushie. Wait. Five, wait, we just got the owl plushie and 40 can We got 40 candy. Only 40 candy? Wait, what is the owl plushie? I'm, I've actually never had it. What does it do? It, was it just like a chance to get it? Increases night vision to max. Hey, there we go. Would you look at that? Okay, so we can now claim this creature. Honestly, the missions, like I said, it's really not that hard. And this creature is honestly pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, put test this creature out. Wow, let's take a good look at the Noctun. So, like, look at those eyes. Those eyes are 
those guys are some creepy eyes but like i said guys i honestly don't know what i could relate this to other than maybe the head like kind of looks like a duck um i don't know that's just me though but the rest of the body i don't know it's like a maybe like a skull crawler of some sorts like the arm and the body shape but then it has these like little back legs and then like a long bony tail. Wow, this is a quite a design. And if you actually click on female and make it a female, it has spikes on the front of its head or on its head. And then if you're a male, you have the spikes on your tail. So that is honestly pretty cool. And honestly, I prefer the female because the spikes in the head, it just looks cooler. Okay, so we've spawned in and this is what it looks like when it's fully grown. And look at this thing. It is very deadly and very Halloween-like. Um, and it looks like a, like a zombie, a zombie creature. Like it has no organs at all. And it's empty inside, just like me. All right, let's go ahead and check out the animation. So here's the animation. Here's the Z animation right here. Look at that. That is actually so well animated. That is crazy. And then let's do the X animation. There we go. And then the N animation. And then the sitting animation. Look at that. It's like a chicken now. And then the sleeping animation. There we go. All right, here we go. We're going to be testing this thing out in battle now. And, um... There's a lot of stuff over here. Oh, is it? that's a Solrin. The Solrin is probably one of the coolest Halloween creatures because it flies. And I'm aggroing at it, and I don't know if it sees me, but I'm aggroing so I would get my aggro boost. And then I'm gonna go at it, okay? Let's go ahead and get our aggro boost. And we also have the Hunter's Curse, but I believe that we sacrifice our health for damage. I don't know if that's actually useful. Actually, I'm gonna try it. So if I do, I have my aggro. I use Hunter's Curse, I lose half my health, and then now I attack. How much damage do I do? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just did a thousand damage. I just did a thousand damage, guys. Oh, yo. Wait, this actually might, guys, this actually might be broken, guys. Oh my gosh. I just, I just three-shotted those innocent creatures. Now, I don't know if that will be doing that to, like, the bigger creatures, but that was crazy. The Hunter's Curse along with, you know, once you're fully grown. And again, I have no plushies on. So, um, should I test it out on that Empaterium? I want to try it again, and I probably will die to the Empaterium. But, I mean, you know, it's worth a shot. All right, we're going to be doing our aggro animation right here. Um, not suspicious at all. Why would I be doing my aggro animation? Am I right, guys? They probably have an idea of what's going to happen. Ow, I'm being hit. I'm being hit. I'm being hit by a little puff wump. Alright, there we go. It's dead. Alright, we're going to turn on our Hunter's Curse. And we're going to go in. Let's use our Acid Breath. Oh, 700 damage is crazy. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, um, that, 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 that is, that, that was expected. But, um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. And honestly, this creature, you guys definitely should get it as it is a Halloween limited creature. And it will be going limited once the Halloween event disappears and probably will come back next Halloween, hopefully. This is only part two of the Halloween event. And there's going to be another part. And I'm really curious about what the final mission or the new mission creature is going to be because there probably is going to be one more. But, um, yeah, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.